Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing products from CeraVe. So I've picked up two products from them. The first one is the moisturizing cream, which looks like this. This is the tub one that the famous which comes in a tub this is just a smaller version of that and then i have the hydrating cleanser which looks like this um i think these are the most these are one of the most popular products from them i have the smallest size that they have and i'm going to share my review so if you want to know more then you should stick around first i'm going to start with the cerave moisturizer because i do have much to say about this than the cleanser this is something different that i use and experience this is the cerave's moisturizing cream it says dry to very dressing by the way i got the way cerave is available in india now so i could get my hands on it on apollo pharmacy see i'm gonna leave the link for you this says dry to very dry skin it moisturizes and helps to restore the protective skin barrier of the face and body you can also use this on your body this one has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid love the ingredients it is also fragrance free which is one of my favorite things obviously a very popular skincare brand and it is developed with dermatologists the full price of this is 3.99 for 50 ml the ingredients the main ingredients this has is three essential ceramides by the ingredients in this and the um cleanser is pretty much the same uh, it has ceramides which is great for your skin barrier and i definitely have i definitely have at least one uh, skincare product that has ceramides in it in my everyday skincare routine it also helps retain the moisture this one also has glycerin when i checked the ingredient list which is like a humectant and is also very moisturizing and it has hyaluronic acid so it has all the moisturizing and hydrating um ingredients i've taken some on the back of my hand to show you the texture of this this is how it looks like now this is uh like a thick not very thick but it is on the thicker side the consistency of this is thicker once you blend it into your skin this is how it's gonna look like it goes on very smooth like butter my experience with this was very different than what i expected it to be um when i saw it was a thick cream i thought it would be really moisturizing and something that will give me that glow you know that those moisturizers when you put it on you, it gives a nice glow this does not do that this was completely different from what i thought it would look like when i put it on my skin this is the kind of moisturizer that is not going to sit on top of your skin but it will absorb you know um those moisturizers that sit on top of your skin this is not one of those this is going to immediately sink into your skin absorb into your skin which is why i feel this works great under makeup so under makeup if you apply a moisturizer that sits on top then it's gonna slip and slide but if you have something like this which immediately absorbs immediately absorbs into your skin um i think makeup sits on better is what i've noticed the better or the best way to use this is definitely on damp skin it is on damp skin when you've just uh, washed your face with a cleanser this is something that you need to apply right away after that the thick cream goes on really smooth on top of your skin um but looks matte no matter jitna way you apply this on your skin it your skin will is still going to look matte and when i used it for the first time i was like did i apply too less is this how it's supposed to be because i was so confused there's no shininess that glow that juiciness that a moisturizer gives um now when i say all of this this does this does give hydration i have um experienced flakiness i started experiencing flakiness around my nose and around my mouth area and this does help with that i'm not saying it's not hydrating it's hydrating but in a different way it says dry to very dry skin i think till dry skin people uh, you can use this but for very very dry skin um i don't think so this is going to give you that enough hydration not very good for very very dry skin people with oil even oily skin combination normal till dry can still use this when i look at it i thought how well moisturizing how well moisturizing and how promising it looked and i do have dry skin and now i have even more of very very dry skin and i do need and want products that are that are like heavily and very very moisturizing so i'm speaking from a dry skin perspective uh, i was very confused the first few times i used it because i all i'm saying is i didn't expect it to be effect or imagine it to have a mattifying effect that's all i'm saying otherwise it's a great moisturizer like how i said the ingredients and everything um something that i also want to include is 
a little bit how it reminded me of this moisturizer this is from requel this is a ceramide and hyaluronic acid moisturizer have the same ingredients it is this is non-comedogenic for normal dry skin i've been using this for a while now this has a normal to dry skin and i do agree the moisturization of this is again i would say not very that does not go on very shiny and glowy and you see it does also have a slight bit of matte effect i have used it a lot and this has ceramides mango butter and hyaluronic acid i would say this is this will be a great alternative i'm actually going to show you the texture of this also um this is the requel one and when you blend it into your skin this is how it's going to look like out of all the moisturizers this is the one that i could pick which i felt was very similar to this one even when we consider the ingredients and i think this would be a great alternative i'm not saying it's a dupe but it's a great it could be a great alternative if you for some reason can't find this um it, it is also it is also way less expensive than this one this is i think for 350 rupees for 100 grams so I have another ceramide moisturizer. Now I'm showing this all to compare. This is the Dot McKee's Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramide Face Cream. You know I love this. Now this is something. This has five essential ceramides and it also has hyaluronic acid. Now this is a moisturizer that my skin needs and this is the Dot McKee one. And you can see that when you blend it into your skin, it's moisturized it already looks these are the different categories of ceramide based moisturizer i just wanted i just wanted to show these uh, so that you could differentiate how this is actually different from these from this now let's come to the cleanser this is the cerave's hydrating cleanser it is 88 ml and this was for 315 rupees right off the bat i'm gonna say this is exactly similar to the cerafil gentle cleanser that i use and i love i feel like there is I think only bees ka fark. That is the difference between those two cleansers. Really, this is 88 ml. You get a lot more in the Cetaphil cleanser. But if you had to know that, I said it. It's the same. Which is why I don't have to say much about this. You can either pick one. Don't buy both. If you already have the Cetaphil cleanser, don't get this. If you already have this, you don't need to have the Cetaphil cleanser. Sure, this is the texture of it. Even the Cetaphil one has the same texture. This is a little bit more compact and travel friendly in terms of packaging. Um packaging it also has again same three serum three essential ceramides free it's fragrance free i love the cerafil cleanser so i love this equally if i had to say but if you're someone who hasn't used the cerafil cleanser this is a cleanser that is meant for dry skin i mean all skin types can use it but especially for dry skin because this applies like a lotion Okay, if you if you're using it for the first time, you're gonna be confused if you picked up a cleanser because that has happened to me. What I feel the best part is that it's a great morning cleanser. It's not something you can use for double cleansing. I feel personally, I don't think so. I can get the satisfaction, but I will say that even if it even when it's so gentle it cleans my skin i f do feel my skin is so so clean and squeaky clean when i use this or a cetaphil one i think that is all you need to do about this cleanser um nothing different that i saw that like the moisturizer it's perfect 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 for dry flaky skin this i loved um nothing more to say to that i cannot pick a flaw it's non-comedogenic it's non irritating to your skin so sensitive people sensitive skin people sensitive people sensitive skin pe people you can go for this i like it i love it so if you can get this i would definitely recommend and yeah that is the end of the video uh leaving the links for you in the description not all the products are really available right now um in india and there were other products that i really wanted to try like the oil cleanser the cream to foam cleanser i think those products are really exciting for me personally and i really wanted to get that but I think we got like very basic, very popular products which are in I think we only got that. And I hope that they come out with the newer products and all the other products. So I can try it for you as well. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you would like to see next. What would you like to see more on my channel? Thank you for being here, sticking by. I love you guys a lot and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!